Hey there, my polygonal friends. Today I'm here demonstrating the polygon node in Resolume Wire. When we have a look at the polygon node, we see that it only has a single inlet. Hovering over the in and outlets teaches us that the node wants a flow to as input and will produce a shape 2D as output. The float 2 we give as input will be used as coordinates for the polygon. Using the first element for the X position and the second element for the Y position. We need to give our polygon node at least three points to work with, as the smallest polygon shape is a triangle. I'll start by creating a float2 node. Next, I'll instantiate it three times in the node panel. Now let's enter some values. I will hold command and click the value box to open up the instancing widget. I'll enter in some random values and a shape will appear. The polygon node is drawing a shape between the coordinates we give it. And this is essentially all there is to the node. Feed the polygon a collection of flow 2 values and it will give you back a shape. Now let's have a look at a couple of examples using the polygon node. In this first example we use the circle pattern node to generate a flow 2 collection for us. We'll use these 12 points to create a 12-sided polygon. Next, we'll add a small amount of distortion to each point in our polygon by adding Perlin noise. The amplitude of the Perlin noise node will control the addition and therefore the amount of distortion. Note here that the Perlin noise node has a unique phase offset for each instance and is not set to unipolar, so we get both negative and positive values. In this second example, I've built a patch requested by one of our users over on Slack. A float2 node is used to create the coordinates of a triangle. The middle y value is modulated by a sine oscillator. I have used the right node to override the value coming from the float2 collection, as you can see when I hover over the node. Next, we go into the polygon, edge and shape render nodes. As a final bit of post-processing, we make a feedback loop to create the trails. And then AutoMask is used to filter out any lingering artifacts coming from the feedback loop. And that was it for this tutorial. I hope you've learned something and are ready to go full polyamorous with our Polygon node. Links to the patches used in this tutorial can be found in the description below and I will see you in the next one.